Hello Aries, welcome back to There's That Tarot. We're just gonna see what comes out, quick messages. Sorry that I have not been here for you guys, but I'm just in a place where it's only gonna make me mad and y'all mad if I try to go live here. So, cause the internet connection sucks. So, Aries, there's somebody that you may have, I feel like you two fell out. You know, but this person is having very fond memories of you. Um, this person remembers you, Aries. And I feel like the more that you are not talking to them, the more that they feel it. You feel it too. But you're standing. I feel like Aries said what they said when it comes to whatever this is. But there, there could be, it could be possibly a Scorpio in your life or a Virgo. Who is wanting to talk to you again. I mean, you've been such a mystery to someone. But I just see you... I see you took a chance on yourself, Aries. A lot of you may have started a new job, too. You're balancing your responsibilities very well. I see that. I see you loving on yourself. I feel like this is giving you time to kind of replenish your cup. I see you very independent, per usual, Aries energy. You are moving on from something. It could be a relationship that you were very unhappy about, but why is the Eight of Swords here? Is that you? No. You just got somebody telling you, Aries. That's what it is. It's like you're doing you and somebody's telling that shit. That's what's going on. But we do have new love. What's that about for Aries? Ooh. Careful. Somebody, whoever this new love is. I don't know. You may. Is this you? Could be an Aquarius. Somebody doesn't have a lot of faith in this connection. And they're not telling you that they don't have a lot of faith in this connection. Could be a Capricorn. With the Devil card and the Seven of Pentacles. What are they waiting for? <laughs> Whatever it is, they're not talking about it. <laughs> what is that? They're being quiet about something. They don't trust you. They don't trust you. Why don't they trust you? There could be a decision that they're needing to make, but they may not feel strong enough to make that decision. And it could involve another person who may have their eye on them. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. This person, there's a third party involved in your new love situation. Love yourself first is here. Hmm. Was that you? Somebody's coming up short. And I feel like... Somebody's coming up short here, Aries. I feel like you know it. There's someone... Is this... this are you in this? No. Okay. You may be dating with somebody who's in a relationship or they still have another person in their energy. This person may want attention from your person. If you are, I don't know, there's a masculine energy and a feminine energy who seems to be pissed <laughs> is what I'm getting. Maybe you have someone's attention and there's somebody who wants that person's attention. Um, this is heavy. They feel very disappointed. So what is the King of Swords in the reverse over here? They, it's like they're trying to figure out if they should offer you something. This could entail something else ending. What are they going to do about that? I do see them starting over, but I just feel like... Is this the relationship? <laughs> I feel like this person needs some time because they're coming up short. There's, there's, there's a lot about coming up short here. Somebody's heartbroken. 
about something and that i don't think that's the best energy that you would to start something in there's work that needs to be done aries for you love yourself first is here and is, is this about you though no whoever do whoever's coming towards you because i tried this reading before whoever's coming towards you needs to do the work that you've already done that's what this is <clears throat> they're not where you are i will release my expectations and be very open to surprise what does that mean for you aries yeah you just keep going aries that's that's what this is the chariot and the hangman and i feel like at, at, at the sign you've taken enough time to yourself to to kind of know when if if that makes any sense and whenever you feel like you need to do that, follow your first instinct, Aries. That's what I'm getting for you. If you feel like you need a minute, take a minute. If you feel like going for it, go for it. But you know when. Aries is, Aries rules the head. And so your first instinct is usually your truth, is usually what you should go with. So just to... Side note for you, Aries. There's somebody who wants to tell you how they feel. They want this with you. They're very attracted to you. Um, this person feels like you are all that they've ever wanted. I feel like you distress this person. It's like you're not stressful to this person. They're trying to strategize, though, how to get back to you. But I feel like you feel like is this the same person okay there could be two people <laughs> in your reading all right there's someone else who's been trying to get back to you too this person feels like they're in a much better headspace now but i feel like you don't you don't want anything to do with it it could be an earth sign towards virgo capricorn they, they feel like you look at them differently i forgot they hate themselves for that. I feel like somebody's being down on themselves. I don't want to use the word hate, but I feel like somebody's being kind of down on themselves. Why do you look at this person differently? Ugh. They could be in the... Uh, it's like you know something about this person. It could have something to do with their living situation. Um, you know that somebody... Yeah, somebody may still be in a relationship. All right. I don't see this going to like this, you know, end all be all at the moment. But let's see what the outcome is for Aries. I'll get outcome and advice for you, Aries, because there's a lot going on here. Somebody, I feel like there's someone who's in a relationship or there's new love that's coming to your life. But they need to do the work that you, I feel, have already done. And then there's old love who's missing you and wanting to get back to you, but they can't find a way. So, your advice is keep on moving. <laughs> keep on moving. Don't stop. No. Don't let nothing hold you back, Aries. The thing is, it's like if you did your homework, then you did it. You know, if you if it's time for you to graduate to the next level, then I wouldn't like I don't know, it's almost like if you got if you're ready, you got your shoes on already and you're ready to go, you should just go. I, I feel like that's that's what this is. Outcome for the past love. Nah. Uh outcome for the new love. Is this for you? Well, one, three's company. Oh, three's a crowd. So definitely, if there are, if there's more than you and this person involved in this, no. I wouldn't wait on it until I wouldn't. Something needs to go with this new situation. And I see you just kind of sitting in Empress energy. And I feel like that's why this person's very attracted to you because I don't I just don't see you chasing anything. Um 
I wouldn't allow anyone to use you as a distraction. There could be success with this new love. But something's got to go. Like, bottom line. Something has to go. I feel like give it some time. Your advice, Aries. Like I said, release expectation. Somebody is overthinking something. So what you should do in the meantime is you. <laughs> like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.